Hey everyone, welcome back to another Python challenge video. We're on the 14th challenge, and uh, staring us in the face is this uh, picture of a Swiss roll, I think. Uh, I, I, I don't entirely know. So, the URL is Italy. Well, I guess like, that's at least the location of where we are now on the website, and I don't think that'll really be able to give us any hints or any clues, but, I mean, that's what it is. Um, below the image is this another square image. Um, I don't know what it particularly is either. It's just like a bunch of vertical lines. So, uh, as always, let's just do some investigation. If we right-click and view the page source, I'll shrink this down so you guys can see it. The title of the page, you guys can't see it in the uh, actual page itself, is, is, is Walk Around. So, Walk Around Italy, I guess? Uh, I would think that that... Uh, I mean, whatever that means, <laughs> to walk around, I guess going in a circle, or go through, kind of loop, maybe, loop through. Um, and down at the bottom, other than the Italy image, is the other image, the wire, I guess it's called, wire.png. It's set a width of 100 and a height of 100. And this hint comment here says, remember, 100 times 100 equals 100 plus 99 plus 99. I don't entirely know what that's supposed to refer to. Um, but if we check out wire.png... Oh! Uh, okay, I'm gonna try and zoom in here. I guess I can't. Um, but you can see it's... Oh, it's not 100 by 100 like it says in the source. That's just HTML formatting to make it that way. Looks like it's 10,000 <laughs> pixels in the x-direction, 10,000 pixels horizontally, and only one pixel tall. Uh, so it's it's a wire. It's like a straight wire, like the the source was saying. Does that say the same thing here? Wire dot png. Yeah. Now if I try and zoom in, it's just a bunch of weird things. <laughs> Check this out. Okay. I only think you know. This is just a hunch and a guess that walk around, we've got this wire, and the picture is of like this spiral kind of Swiss roll thing, like a spiral. Maybe it wants us to walk around this wire in a spiral. Kind of like that sort of thing. Uh, or like, because I mean, we can't do it with the wire at this 100 by 100 image because it's not really it. It's it's like this wire that we have to wrap around and make a spiral. Um, I mean, I guess we can do it. I guess we can try it. I'll save this image. I'll put it on my desktop. Uh, wire.png. I'll hop on over to my Sublime Text Editor and I'll save a new file as 14.png. Yeah, okay. Wow, 14 not, not dot png, I'm stupid. 14 dot pi. <laughs> okay, so we've got these images, and that's what we're going to be manipulating. So, of course, we're going to need the image module, import image. Um, and let's open up our wire. Wire equals image dot open wire dot png, and with the read formatting. Now, if I go to my desktop here, there's our wire, and it's this big 1,000 or 10,000 by 100 <laughs> size picture. So if we try and wrap this into a, uh, let, me get, let me get the web page open. If we try and wrap it into a 100 by 100 image, we're going to need a separate 100 by 100 image, right? So let's build that. Let's say image. Uh, I'm gonna use IMG for quick stuff. Image dot new, and of course you need the format of the image RGB. Doesn't need to have any alpha channels, and 100 by 100 is gonna be our size. Okay. So let's try and think about this. If we want to wrap around this spiral sort of thing, it's got to be. What way is the spiral going? It can be either going counterclockwise or clockwise. This one. 
spring from the very back and going in, it looks like clockwise. So if we did this with a square, or with a, try to wrap around a wire, we'd be going like left to right, and then down. Oh, crap. And then we'd go back with right to left, and then back up, right? Yeah. And then we do the same thing over and over again, but we would not cross over what we've already reached. So the the minimum x and y values and the maximum x and y values will change as we traverse through our spiral, I think. <laughs> so we do need minimum and maximum values is, I think, what I'm thinking. <laughs> let's let's set those up, x min and x max. We'll set them equal to zero. And I know we're thinking we'd use a hundred, right? But if we're going to use this to actually index specific like portions of the wire image, we have to set it to 99. Because if we try to do like wire uh, get pixel or something, or if, or if we were indexing at a specific place, if we tried to use 100, it's not going to know because it wants it to be at 99 because if it goes from 0 to 99 that in itself is 100 places not 0 to 100 being would be make it 101 things I think uh, <laughs> yeah that's that's at least the rationale behind what I'm why I'm doing that but that's because we're indexing like that like we could use pixel access objects like you know when you like did image and then add specific coordinates but I'm just going to use get pixel and put pixel because I think that's a little, a little easier. At least for now. Uh, pixel access objects you should use in general, but I don't want to set it up right now. I'm just I'm just too lazy and a little rusty with the image library. So, okay, now we need our, our y min and y max. I'll set them also equal to 0 and 99. And, okay, if we're going to be spiraling we're going to need a, uh, a position or something that keeps track of where we are in both the X and the Y coordinate. Like we could be right here, this one right here, and it would need to know that it would be so far along in the X direction and so far along in the Y direction. And when we get to it farther and farther along, like if we would be over here in the spiral that I'm not, I'm not going to finish drawing because that would just be a while, it would also know that, okay, this is where we are. So we can set that up. I think with just like a coordinate thing, like X or Y. So it can't be a tuple or a tuple though because we have to be able to change it. So I'm just going to set a position variable to be a list or an array with what would be filled with X and Y coordinates. But for now, since we're initializing it, let's just set it equal to zero. And on top of that, we need the actual wires position, right? So that can just be an integer. Uh, I'll call mine place. And since it's only going horizontally, like it's only 10,000 10, pixels in the x direction, that's all we need to keep track of, just the x position. So, uh... Okay, now when we're traversing across our spiral, let's actually get to the loop that traverses across our spiral for us. X, and, x min and x max, along with y min and y max, should, like, change as they go along. And they'll, they'll end up meeting in the dead center of the spiral. Like, you'd go so far along this way, and then you go so far along this way, and 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 this way, etc., etc., until you get to the very center of the, of the spiral. And in a square, that's the very center of the square, so they'll both be equal. Right? Yeah. So, let's set up a loop. Uh, I'm going to use a, a while loop rather than a for loop, because uh, that way I can just set up a condition. And while not, these things are equal to each other. X max equals X min. Or Y max equals max. E is equal to Y min, sorry. But keep in mind we have our offset here from 99 and 99. Um, so I'm actually going to separate this. Because if they, if they are equal, that means we've gone too far. That means we've actually crossed. Like they're at the exact same position, and you obviously you can't get anything out of that. So, 
when we're testing for the max value, we're going to subtract one form rate, uh, from both x and y. So, Okay, now that we've got our loop, now we can actually start moving in the x and y directions, like traversing through our spiral. And we'll do that with the for loop. This while not is just going to keep it going over and over and over again, but our for loop is what's actually going to be stepping in one direction or another. So we can set up, uh, let's, let's go in the left to right direction first, like the very top of, of the spiral. We'll do 4x in range, x min, because x min is going to have to change, so we wouldn't set 0 or anything else here, and then x max. And remember we want to go to the 100th place here, so we are actually going to add 1 because of our offset, the way that our computers count. Uh, and that's all we need. So what we would do now is we'd have x and y. So we'd print the value for x, um, which we're going to actually keep track of in our position array, right? So I'm going to set it position 0. And we'll do the same thing for y and that will be position 1. So th this is just displaying it out, obviously we're not setting anything yet, but that's so we can at least kind of figure it out. Uh, we can visualize and see what's going on here. Position 0, like we said before, is going to be set to that x, because we're moving across the top here. Place is going to increment, because we're moving along the wire. And what we can do is we can grab the pixel in the wire, right here, one of the very, like, far, far left, and it will keep going and going along as we traverse through this wire. We'll actually get that and put it in our image, the new one that we're building, at the current position we're at, right? So let's check that out. Let's do image, put pixel. Now, normally, you should be using pixel access objects, but I'm just going to do this quick and dirty. Uh, so the position that we want and the actual image and we'll get it from our wire, get pixel, with place being the x position, and then with 0, because we don't need anything for the y. And uh, at that point, y min will be smaller, because, like, if you think of it at the very top, we're moving left to right at the very top of the spiral, so when we get back to the top and we're moving to the left, we can't start that far ahead in the y direction anymore. We have to stop, we have to start at this second row, not the first row. Vertically, in the y, in the y direction, the y aspect of that, we have to increase the minimum value, right? Because it's going, it's counting from 0, 1, 2, and that sort of thing, vertically down. So hopefully you guys can visualize that and it's piecing together the same way in your head as, as it is in mine. I know this one is kind of a little bit harder to visualize. I want to run this code. Oh, okay, cool. So it, 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 did, work. it did work for us. Um, so yeah, y is going to stay the same as we go through all this stuff. Blah, 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 blah. Um, and x is going to keep increasing. Okay, and it did this over and over and over again, I think. Yeah, because uh, y min is increasing we didn't actually cap our, our loop here, but that's okay. I just wanted to show you guys how it was working and why it was doing it that way. So now we'll actually start working down, since we've worked, uh, we have worked left to right. Now we'll start working down in our spiral. And we do this the same way, except with y. So for y in range, y min, y max plus one, and I'm gonna have, this, have my same printout dialog so I know what's going on here. Um, actually, I'll set output. Set up a new variable that can control this sort of thing. Output is going to equal true. If output do that. I'll copy this line. Okay. So now we can easily turn the output on and off. Um, and now we'll continue, but position 1 the second uh, index in our position array is going to equal y. Place is going to increment, and we'll do the same exact thing with our put pixel. Cool. Now at the end of this loop, 
x max is going to be subtracted 1. Because if we're working from the... Uh, I want to try and visualize this for you, but I can't. I hope you can visualize it with my cursor here. I'll move it around a little bit. If we walk across the spiral from left to right, doop -a doop -a doop until we get to the very end of it, then we start moving down, doop -a doop -a doop -a doop now we can't move to this far right side of the image or of the spiral. So x max is going to be minus 1. Cool. So now we get to work backwards. Now when we went from left to right and then uh, down, now we're going to work right to left. We're going to work backwards in the horizontal direction. So we can do this in a kind of a cool way for x in range x max, we're going to start at the farthest that we can from the right corner that we've built for ourselves, x min minus 1. Now, this has the exact same offset for the same reason as the other ones. And we're in, for our step value, now, now we can actually pass in a new argument to the range function as to how we're going to step through all this. By default, it's, it's 1, and we're doing that as increasing in an ascending order. Now we're going to go in a descending order with a negative one, because we're going to work backwards horizontally. So we're going, we're increasing negatively. It's like we're subtracting. All right, um, and we'll do the same thing. I think uh, with in the horizontal direction, and that should print out perfectly fine for us. Place is increasing, position is still the same at x. So yeah, that works fine. And then now y max is going to go uh, backwards, right? Yeah, y max is going to decrease because we can't go that far at the bottom anymore. Because when we're spiraling, we're traversing right to left at the bottom of where our spiral is. So a lot of this code is kind of duplicated, and I'm sure you can figure that out, but I'm... Well, I'm just kind of whipping this out. It's for readability, or at least for being able to follow the flow of logic and see seeing how it's actually making this spiral explicitly, I guess. So... Now we'll do the same thing with y, working backwards, um, y min minus 1, the same way we did x min minus 1, and of course we're decreasing. So, the same thing that we did with the y, and now we should be able to do x min plus 1, because we can't go to that left side anymore. So, what else is there? We've gone through the entire spiral from left to right, and then up and down from the top to the bottom, and then right to left, then back up, and it does this over and over and over again because we set up this condition while well, these things are not equal to each other. So let's try it. Um, we've got to save our new image, image.save. Oh, okay, it's, it's IMG, not forward image. And whatever file name we wanted to save as, let's just call it spiral.png. Cool. So if I run this, boom, you're going to see all of our output just like go crazy on the screen right here. And now if we kind of walk through it, we can see that first it goes through x, like going left to right across it. And then it keeps that position in x and goes down with y. And now it works backwards from right to left with x. And then it goes down with y. And then it does the same thing, keeping the new position, because we set up x max and, and x min and y max and y min, they keep track of this stuff for us. And we're just detracting from it every time, or adding to it every time we need to, as we go through another kind of layer or spiral in the overall spiral. <laughs> if that makes any sense whatsoever. So hopefully you can kind of understand what it's doing, and seeing it outputted with this X and Y stuff is kind of, I think, kind of cool. So, and if we just want to turn output off, we can set output equal to false. Now if I run this stuff, yeah, okay, now it's not completely gone. So if I check it out on my desktop, we still got a little wire here, the thing that was our source, and thanks to our code, we've got this spiral.png, and it's thumbnail... <laughs> Looks like a little cat. Okay, and I guess our code isn't perfect. I <laughs> think we got a little blot, uh, a black spot in the very center. That's that's okay. I mean, we got pretty much the whole image that we need. Cause hey, we got a cat. Um, 
<laughs> it's it's literally just the cat, I guess. Uh, so let's see what we can do with our Python challenge now. Uh, let's just try and change the URL to cat. Is that it? Hey! Ooh. <laughs> and its name is Uzi. You'll hear from him later. Is that the same picture as the thumbnail? Pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's the very same thing. Its name is Uzi. You'll hear from him later. Uh, that's not a challenge. What am I supposed to do here? <laughs> um. Okay, I'm just trying to change the URL. Uzi.html. How about that? Hey! Yep, okay. That one works. Now we're on challenge 15! Sweet! We did it, guys! Cool. So, uh, that's all that... <laughs> I mean, that's all that I'm gonna show you. We got to... We got through challenge 14. Kind of a... Kind of a cool methodology or thing that we built here and working through this spiral. And, uh... Hopefully it's readable. Hopefully you can understand the logic as we step through each one of these. I know it's kind of duplicate code, but hey, that's okay. You can shrink it down if you want to. But this is a quick and dirty method to build our spiral and move on to the 15th challenge. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you're digging the Python challenge series. If you are, maybe like the video. Maybe, uh, maybe leave me a comment, some constructive criticism. And if you're feeling willing, subscribe. Thanks, everybody. I'll see you in the next tutorial.